What's up guys, Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with another video. So that clickbait title there, I'm, I apologize for. Uh, we didn't buy a complete house full of minifigures, but uh, we do have content for days. We got 45 more pounds of mystery minifigures. You guys loved it so much uh, when I bought the 30 pounds that uh, I just had to, uh, to one up. You can't go down in terms of uh, content. So we had to go up a little bit more. I did grab one of these bags here. So we're going to dive through this and get right back into our, I guess you could just call it maybe like a new season, season two <laughs> of the uh, minifigure blind bags. Uh, I've separated them all into a pound each after I did my wonderful uh, <laughs> fig angels for quite some time. Uh, I did bag them all up into pounds. Uh, I tried my best not to look at anything. I was just scooping random things. So uh, not try not to pay attention to what was actually in there just for the fun of it, because it's more fun when it's random for me as well. Uh, so I hope you guys are excited about this. I have some other hauls as well. We do have a Star Wars haul coming here in a little bit, um, but I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed this series. So let's go ahead and dive into these uh, and we'll get started right where we left off from the last one. But this is gonna be longer because it's 45 pounds. <laughs> Three boxes instead of two, uh, same seller. Love that guy. Uh, I don't know where he gets it, but uh, I gotta figure it out. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in, see what we got here. First off, we actually do have a snow troop with pauldron. So this is the actual captain uh, snow troop. I don't think he has the captain symbol, though. So this actually might be on the wrong torso. I'll have to look into that, though. So we're halfway done with a good lot is because we already got a snow trooper. All we need is a hoth rebel. And we are good to go. Uh, we have Woody from the uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Urukai Ark. Or no, this is, this is an orc, I think. I think I said Ark. <laughs> he looks concerned about it, though, that's for sure. Uh, nothing there. We do have uh, Ernie, the night bus driver, I believe is that that one is. We got an old school uh, Futuron, I believe is what that is. The blue Futuron. He's actually got his jetpack and the solid stud head there as well. Great figure there. One of the mini green snakes. Uh, we have just a city. We have a... Uh, old school sand trooper. This is the very first version of sand trooper. Supposed to have a dotted mouth helmet, but he has a first order helmet, interestingly. Um, so that's not quite complete, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's pretty close. I think this actually goes on this, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, I think this is actually, yeah, well, that might be right. I don't know about the first order. I don't have a whole bunch of those. Um, don't, don't particularly like them as much as the stormtroopers. We have Han Potter <laughs> here with the golden dagger, which is kind of interesting. Um, another old school town fig with a zipper across the front. I always thought these guys were space figs, uh, but they're actually just town figs. They were just random town dudes. This is an interesting mashup here. Uh, I believe this is Rex on a Zod with an interesting shoulder pads there too. <laughs> that was a really interesting mashup. First ting of the day, we do have a Samukai $30 figure right there. Just beautiful. Man, love these things. <laughs> it takes me back. I'm already having fun. Hopefully you guys are as well. We'll start doing some more live streams and stuff like that as well. We actually might kick off a live stream this afternoon. Um, so hopefully that is going to be in the cards for us. Uh, I'll try to do them maybe Wednesday, Thursday while I'm home or have those two days off. Nothing there. He's sweating about it, though. Um, so comment below if you guys are excited about that, if you're excited about another 45 pounds, and also what your favorite fig is of these. Uh, you can always find these figs on eBay. That is stores.com, stores.ebay.com slash legbros. And you can always contact me on Instagram at legbros with a zero instead of an O if you find any stuff to your fancy. That's an interesting mashup as well. <laughs> Some of them were not put together right, but that's okay. We got Kai's face. This is sh uh, shirtless Kai with a peg leg and a robotic arm. Interesting. Maybe he uh, took a trip through Star Wars land. Uh, I'm not sure what hair piece that... Oh, this is the... Uh, I always say I'm not sure what hair piece that is. That's the series Spy now, I know, uh, because you guys have told me <laughs> when I said last time I didn't know what that was. Series Spy headpiece is what that, that... Her hair piece, I should say, is what that is. This helmet, though, no idea what that's from. Maybe another series or something like that. Or is that the uh, the Lego movie? Girl, no, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what that torso is either. Uh, we have Doc Ock, one of the versions of Doc Ock here. Not quite a ting. Uh, we have a good knight here, Breastplate Knight, the newer version of those from Knight's Kingdom 1 or 2, one of those. We got the birthday boy here with his birthday cake shirt, of course. 
Uh, I like the series uh, torso. Police officer, nothing. We got Cole with a, this is the OG Cole. Just black head though. Um, I thought this guy was originally a scout trooper, but he's just got some cool looking shades on there on a Chima torso. Uh, I think this is actually, is that, oh, that's a, that's a superhero figure, I think. It's not Dr. Doom. Not Hobgoblin. Uh, it's, I think that is, I think that is a superhero figure. Comment below. I, I'm, I know I'm wrong, but uh, we have the second half here. We do have our... <laughs> interesting because his just his eyebrows show through there which is kind of funny uh, we have our hoth rebel so now our haul is complete uh we do have i believe that is marion from indiana jones not 100 percent sure though we also have darth maul with a nice haircut here uh which is very very nice he's got a nice little toupee go in there very nice we have jay here one of the newer versions of jay with that uh two katana holder but it goes to the I actually kind of like this. It goes both sides. I do like the cross, though. I think that's probably my favorite uh, on there when they cross katanas. Uh, we have the pirate. Old, sad pirate there. Uh, the series elf. I think this one actually is complete because that looks like an elf face to me as well. I don't know if I've ever gotten him complete. I always get the headpiece or the, the hat on the wrong piece there. I think this was from the... Oh, this is actually a uh, Ninjago minifigure, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I think she is for sale in my store, so I'll have to look that up. We got the original Ewok. Uh, this is Paplu, I think, is the tan one. Interesting little pumpkin head man. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Another old school knight. We have a, um, I don't remember what they call those, swivel arm skeleton. Those guys are actually pretty good. They're like four bucks a piece, I think, now. So good to keep those, definitely. I think that's a Nexo Knight. Probably not. That would probably be mistaken. Uh, we have Death Star Darth Vader with pupils. Put him up real quick. Uh, there's another First Order, newer First Order Stormtroop. Oh, could this be a premonition of what's to come? We have the young Boba Fett from the Jango Fett Slave 1. That is a mystery. We could have him. That means we could have a Jango Fett in here. Uh, I did get three out of his four boxes, so it is possible that I missed the box that he is in as well. Uh, but we got 45 pounds of figs to go through, so you never do know, but that would be a pretty epic find. That's one I haven't found in the wild very often. I don't think I've actually ever found one of those in the wild. I say in the wild by just a random haul. Uh, we also have, I believe that's Magneto's face, I want to say, on a sand trooper with a very valuable headpiece. A lot of people use that headpiece that I sell. Nothing there. We got Dumbledore with the silver filigree there from the Hogwarts sets. Uh, an old soccer player. I believe this is Space Police, I want to say. One of the mechs or android, whatever they call them. Um, this is the, I always forget, A-Wing or B-Wing pilot from Star Wars. We got Lucy here in the house. Angry Lucy. Another Hoth Rebel. Nothing, 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 nothing. I think that's another Nexo Knight. Interesting face piece there. <laughs> no idea what that is, but it's a cool face for sure. We got good old R2. This is the Red Dot R2, the newer version with Red Dot. Um, <laughs> fake? Real? Is that real or fake? The nose, man. They did do Lego noses at once, but the actual torso looks like it's real. Um, they did do Lego noses for the uh, Native American from way back when, the Native American uh, figs. We have a phase one clone, first one in the house here. Uh, we also have the bottom half of um, Chumsworth, Pythor Chumsworth, and then we also have a bear's face <laughs> on a different torso. Don't know what that's all about. Uh, we have old Obi-Wan, the newer version of old Obi. Old school pirate with a crazy Fright Night Witch on the headpiece. Uh, we got the surfer guy. That is a heck of a face. Is that a Benny face? It's got to be a Benny face, right? <laughs> is that a real fig? Is it just all put together the way it should? Because that is an awesome figure, if that's the case. I'm going to put him down here because he's so cool. Uh, nothing there, just police officer. We got Cole uh, with no hood. Uh, I believe this is a Jurassic World or Jurassic Park fig. Chima. Uh, looks like Legolas, missing his... Legolas ears, which makes him look kind of weird. Nothing. 
Ooh, this is a great fig. We do have the Vampire from the Scooby-Doo series. I don't know how expensive he is, but still a cool figure. Here's his vampire head. Great figure there. He's got his cape and everything like that too, which is really awesome. Um, so I think that's actually a pretty good figure. I'll have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure it is because I haven't gotten it very often, if at all. Uh, we have another Lucy here, a little bit happier in that version of Lucy. We have Kai in the house. Another uh, one of the Jurassic World figs. Ooh, there's another Ting. We got Thrawn. He's actually gone up quite a bit. <sighs> Missing his hairpiece too, which is very hard to get, I would imagine, since it's blue. <laughs> uh, but that hurts. Oh, not as much as Agent Kohler hurt, but it hurts still. I'm still going to put him down here, even though he broke my heart. Uh, we have another Phase 1 clone. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Mm -hmm, nothing. We got Gandalf. So we got both Dumbledore and Gandalf. Reminds me of the, I'm Dumbledore, <laughs> uh, from the Lego movie. This is a good pauldron. We got the Sand Trooper pauldron, uh, the white one. We also have... Deadpool's torso. Oh man, that one's cracked as well. Uh, and then we also have, um, oh man, Hondo, uh, Hondo's head. So he's actually gone up in value too, Hondo. Um, I'm going to put him down there because he's broken. The Deadpool torso is broken. That makes me upset. We got Minecraft there in the house. That is an interesting mashup as well. I think that's a custom torso. The headpiece is from, um, uh, one of the Imperial captains or uh, Tarkin moth, Grand Moff Tarkin, I think. Uh, and we also have two claws as well, so it's an interesting mashup. I think it's a Batman head, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Not a hundred percent sure. Could be a series fig. There we have Nick Fury from the Avengers. Great figure, love that one. Uh, another Minecraft fig. Uh, Chen, I believe is who that is. Nothing. Ooh, we got an Ant Man. This is the non. Uh, trans red ant-man helmet so i think it's a newer ant-man helmet i prefer the older one uh suji face i don't know what that torso is we also have the pirates of the caribbean um headpiece i'm trying to remember his name is but we have lando the guard lando the old school imperial <laughs> where's the little cap there imperial cap we got santa in the house i think that's series santa diver uh cole Oh man, he's cracked too. Hopefully not a ton of these ones are cracked. That would be a bummer. Um, but so far it's been all right. Uh, we have the uh, Imperial Catwoman. You didn't know that, that was a thing. This one looks custom here. I'm guessing it's some kind of flash or reverse flash or zoom or something to that effect uh, on here. Missing one of its pieces, but it's custom anyway, so who cares? Um, we also have the other pirate and then a Imperial... Um, I'm trying to remember what this guy's name is. Turk. Turk Falso, I think. Uh, and then another Imperial Torso. Ooh, this is a good Batman fig. We have the old Grays Batman with the larger uh, bat symbol on the side there. He's not cracked, so he's going to go down here. Uh, firefighter. We got Emmett in the house. Oh, we got uh, who people commonly refer to as Commander Neo, uh, or just Neo. Oh, man, he's cracked too. Um, but he's just a bark speeder. Trooper, or a Bark Trooper, I should say. Came from that Bark Speeder set. Um, he's going to go here because he's cracked. So, bummer. Another First Order. On Solo in the house. Uh, just a town guy. Uh, that one is also another superhero one. That one might be Doctor Doom's torso. And then in some Ninjago legs there. Interesting droid mashup. Another Imperial and somebody else with a cape. We got the Lone Ranger. Don't do it, man. Don't. You're just fine. Lone Ranger. Uh, we have an Imperial Guard. Nothing. Nothing. Shima. Nothing. Emmett. Jar Jar. <laughs> uh, another Minecraft. We got a Nindroid here. Interesting Ventress Lucy Anakin mashup there. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, we have a Jack Sparrow face uh, on a man bat. I don't think it's fused with Batman. Uh, another Chima. And we finish it off with a police officer from town. So that was a first bag of 45 bags to come. I'll actually put him down here as well. That's a good thing for sure. Could be a symbol of what's to come. That would be awesome to find a Django Fett 
old school Django Fett. Um, but we did get a whole bunch of Tings in this lot. Um, you can consider that each bag uh, I paid, I think, 125 bucks for. Um, so ultimately, most of this is just going to be profit. Even though it doesn't look like much, uh, they're going to add up quite a bit uh, to profit because this is going to pay for almost that whole thing, uh, I would imagine. Pretty close to, anyways. Um, so comment below what your favorite fig was. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you can't wait for more, uh, we will hopefully do a live stream today as well. Uh, you guys are killing it on the subs, but if you guys aren't subscribed, which 70% of you aren't, definitely hit that subscribe button because what are you doing? What do I have to do? I have about 45 pounds of random figures without sight unseen, <laughs> which is crazy. I spent a ton of money this time, which I spent a ton of money last time, but I spent even more money this time, and I'm not even through the 30 pack in terms of sorting. So uh, show me some love, smash the like button, share with your friends because that really helps us out, uh, and comment below your favorite. And uh, yeah, is there any other things you have to hit? The bell, subscription, smash the like button, uh, tell your friends, hit the share button, all those buttons that you can push, like every single button that you see on your phone right now, including this one to subscribe and this one for other videos, hit all of those because those are all good. Love you and I'll catch you in the next one.